Good morning, modern steaders. It's a nice brisk 33 degrees out this morning. Yep. Yesterday was in the 60s. It felt like spring and now we're back to winter. But it felt good having a day like we did yesterday. This morning, we're gonna take care of all of our animals. I had to get the workshop warmed up. And we gotta work on building our custom doors for our composting outhouse. I've never built anything like this and it's gonna be a fun adventure. You can hear the boys this morning and the chickens. Ladies hungry? Come on, Moose. Need to give you ladies some mealworms. That'll help with your uh, molting of your feathers. Good morning to you too, Zeke. You're all talkative this morning, mister. Good morning, guys. You're full of it. Part of the cups only been giving us eight ounces the last two days, and you got 16 today? I did. Nice. She must have been in heat. Yep. I was wondering if it was where we were going to have to stop milking her, but yeah. I guess not. I like to give it a couple days because this is what usually happens. So we've noticed when our goats slow down on their milk productions for two to three days, it must be because they're in heat, because right after that, their milk production comes back up. Do you like your feet are being so close? There we go. doors for our composting outhouse up at the off-grid property. I've never done nothing like that before so we got to build the slabs first and then we can make the arch. <laughs> this is going to be interesting because I don't know about you but radiuses are not my forte so it'll be fun. All right the first thing we got to grab is my nice rickety saw hosses that everybody loves. We're going to need these. I know, I know, you love these saw hosses. Might not be the fanciest, but they get the job done. And then I picked up some boards the other day. One, two, three, three. Whoops, I'm gonna need 
that. Open. I have enough leftover one buys right here to make the inside of the door. So we're gonna need like seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's enough to do one door. We might be short. Ah, we'll figure something out. We have plenty of wood lying around. We'll figure something out. go 33 to be on the safe side. Ah, now nah, we'll go 32. Why play it safe? That's not That's not the name of the game. putting the tracks on the mule I've just been waiting for the weather to get colder and wintry so that's gonna be coming around right around the corner Somebody had forgotten to close the cap of the glue. <laughs> That'd be me. So, it's all dried up now. I just gotta get it all out. There we go. Look at that. Nice little glob. That'll do it. Try this again. Ah, much better. Much better. Since I can't listen to music while we're working because of YouTube, I get to sing to myself and make funny noises instead. All right. That 
she's pretty good. And we didn't go through. Even better. Now, we can keep working our way down. Can't have anything nice. radius to top door before. Let me know if you have. And what are some tricks? Gina and Olivia really like the plan of this building. And one of the reasons is because it has a radius top door. Gotta remember to put a moon in it afterwards too. Just on the other side. I never built any nice barn doors until we built the workshop that we're in right here last year. Before that, they've been just always been good doors, but they're just more quick throw together doors. But knowing how to make a nice barn door is a game changer. Now, we're learning how to make fancy loo doors.
and then we'll be able to cut off some of that knot. Yeah, I like that. door slaps dry before we can do the next step. So, we got some nice heavy duty doors now. Spring weather one day, the next day winter weather <sighs> with snow. It's getting chilly. Yeah, we could almost have a snowball fight. No. What are you going to have a snowball fight with? Well, if we had more snow. <laughs> you ladies hungry? If we be quiet about it, Olivia's flock might stay up at their coop. Moose? 
Afternoon, buddy. Oh, you heard the grain getting thrown out, did you? You got some pretty good ears, don't you? Watch out. I'm gonna say one. Yeah, me too. That's what we've been getting. One egg. Thank you. Does hope not smell like a buck anymore? Huh? You got that all off you? You smell so pretty. Now we just gotta wait to see if you girls are pregnant. Time will tell. You can't to... come out. You gotta go in. <laughs> so we're trying to get them all in, and there's just one. Oh. One thing she wants to come out. I say five. I say four. You peeking through the crack? No. I think she did. I think she did too. I know. <laughs> she was quiet, and I saw her like focusing. The poop. Mm, I have more. Four? I yeah. Oh, I didn't peek, but there's four. I didn't. Make some homemade tortillas. We have some leftover chicken, so we're gonna have chicken quesadillas. I have four cups of flour in here, and I'm going to add one tablespoon of baking powder. Anything like flour or salt or something that we use a lot, we try to buy in bulk. She 
She's got a sweet personality Smiling from inside the window screen And she's opening the door to me Just a stranger but I'll take it I'm alone and feeling shameless Maybe we can go When our work gets slow We can take a ride To the other side of town Four. You think you're gonna get some? I don't think so. Smoke a good can. Time to heal yet Still you fight With what you're told And hold on to your Scars and wounds And paths of home And I said Ooh, What would you do If you could lose All your Oh, homemade tortilla shells are delicious. So simple. I also want to thank the viewer who sent up the cast iron tortilla press. That thing works amazing. But if you don't have a press, you can still make them just with a roller. Man, I love it when there's leftovers that are so delicious like this. Ah, oh, so good. We're going to have a fun video, a different video. All of our videos are fun. A different video coming out in the next video we got a little bit more exploring we need to do on the new property we have a lot of exploring we need to do but we're gonna be checking out a different spot in the next video we have over 500 acres and we've only seen a little bit of the property so we got a lot of things to check out if you guys like the video give it a thumbs up it really helps we thank you for all the support on the channel that you guys give us thanks for coming along on our homesteading journey and we'll see you right back here in the next video